November 3rd, and this is Geek Nights with Rim and Scott from Rim Scott. All right. Let's, let's do, do this. this. So I uh, couldn't get home from work today. Yeah. And again, my phone sucks at telling me when I have voicemail. <laughs> so uh, I'm at work, and I figure I'm going to leave around, you know, like 530, because I got there late. I figure I'll leave late. And then they announced something over the PA system, which is a big deal, because when they use the PA system, it usually means, like, there's been a chemical leak or, or something like we that. We have a PA system, but the work doesn't use it. Only the building can use it. Ah. And it's usually like, there is to fire drill. <laughs> but no. I, uh, they announced that I-84, the way I go home, is blocked due to an accident. It which, gets blocked all the time, like when it rains. Yeah, whenever it rains, whenever it snows, whenever it's dark out, people just get into accidents and block it, which I wouldn't care about except that it's the only way home. Well, you can take the side road. Oh, there's one side road. There are only two roads that go east and west here. There's I-84, and there's another crap road with a bunch of stoplights and small towns on it. I took the crap road because the, the uh, freeway was blocked, and it took me you know, two hours to drive six miles. I think this just might be only the stretch of 84 between your work and here, because when I take 84 home to Connecticut, I never have a problem. I freaking fly down uh, that you know road. Why? You're going east, and I go west. Uh, west not so good. No, west not so good, because uh, right at the end of... But right coming home, you're going east, right? No, coming home, I'm going west. Oh. We live next to the Hudson River. I work... East of the Hudson River. Ah, uh, suck. Yeah, Mr. Geography. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but remember, the only Hudson River crossing anywhere around here. Newburgh Beacon Bridge. Right there. Hudson whatever bridge. Yeah, that's like 20 miles And then if we north. go south, Tappan Zee Bridge. Yeah. That's, so that's farther south. Many miles neither that's direction. That's near New Jersey. So all the traffic from all the commuters funnels into the one way I go home. Awesome. Yeah. Just go the other way home. There is no other way home. The side road with the small towns. See, whenever I-84 blocks, all the traffic, all the people get off I-84 and get on that road. So why don't you go like this mo really roundabout way? Because even though you'll be really No, slow, because I can't get to the roundabout way. You, you realize there aren't many roads around Couldn't here. you go like way north and then take 9D? All right, what do I get on to go way north? That road near IBM. Oh, that little short road that is also full of traffic from people avoiding I-84? Uh. Yeah. Uh. So uh, I hate people, and I think if you ever get in a car accident, they just take your license away or something. See, while I, 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 like, I don't like uh, being far away from work and having to commute, at least I don't have to deal with shit like that. No, no, you just get on the train, and it always gets there. Well, you know, you never know when it might be canceled or something. They almost never cancel Metro North. Yeah, but it could happen. Last year, during that crazy blizzard, they were delayed like 10 minutes. That was it. Yeah, that's about right. So it was a slow news day. Real slow. I mean, yeah. half the news is just uh, yesterday's news. Yeah. Uh, Again. Uh, oh, newsflash, newsflash. Libby pleaded uh, not guilty. You know, whether you did it or not, Let's say you did it, right? When you got those kind of charges, yep. you don't say guilty because you're going to die like the next day when they <laughs> kill you. So you, you freaking say not guilty no matter what, if only to delay imminent death and imprisonment. Imprisonment. So that's not a surprise at all. Yeah. Though he did waive his right to a speedy trial, which means he wants to drag this out. Like I just said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're guilty... And you know you're going to be found guilty, and there's this pile of evidence that Fitzgerald found. You want to delay it as long as possible. So, uh, you know how long they're delaying it? A year. The uh, next hearing, which is just another hearing. This isn't even the trial yet. February 3rd. Well, that's not too far away. Yeah, yeah, but that's not Think about how much time was between when O.J. was driving his Ford Bronco and when O.J. was actually in court. You know, I don't even remember. I was in middle school. Many I months. Didn't care. Many months. I just remember that when the trial ended in middle school, they showed it on all the TVs in the school. They didn't show it, but someone ran around the building saying... They showed it, and it was not guilty. And I remember going, son of a... But then half my class jumped up and cheered, like, woo! I didn't even... You know, it had gone on so long. Like, I thought he did it. I thought he might have not done it, but I was pretty sure he did it. And then I just didn't care by the time it was over. So when they said <laughs> not guilty, I was just like, oh, well, I, I don't remember. I just remember it at the height of the stupid popularity of this thing. I remember going to the uh, Gibraltar Trade Center, which is like a giant flea market in Michigan where I used to live. 
Okay, because he's a trade center. I'm like, an office building? No, no, like <laughs> imagine a flea market bigger than RIT's entire campus. All right, all right. In I've a big building. Like it's a big things. warehouse full of crap. I know those kind of things. Yeah. They have them in Florida. And in back then, pogs were real big. I went to a flea market in Florida when pogs were real big. I got them pogs. I should get them. They're fun. Not only were there O.J. Simpson pogs. <laughs> oh, my God. There was one guy who sold nothing but O.J. Simpson's pogs. Oh, my God. And he was doing brisk business. He had a half of them that were like, the juice is loose or innocent. And the other half were like, guilty or he's going to fry. And they were selling in equal portions. <laughs> He, uh, he was selling slammers. He was selling the regular the sla- ones. See, that was the problem with Pogs, is like they had the official Pog brand Pogs, and they were high quality. Like, And then they had the cheap-ass third-party knockoff Pogs everywhere. And wait it a was, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. High quality. You realize that the game of Pogs is probably the stupidest game in the world, second only to Conkers. But I think even Conkers has more I don't know skill what Conkers, but... Conkers is a game they play in Britain when, they were ki- when people were kids, and I don't think anyone plays it anymore. Well, you take, like, a chestnut, and you tie a string to it, and you take turns hitting your chestnut against other people's chestnuts until when your chestnut breaks, you're out of it, and then the last standing chestnut wins. All right, Tiddlywinks is better than that. Uh, I kind of like Conkers. Pogs is at least... It's not a game of strategy or skill or smartness, but it is a, it's like a manual dexterity game. you got to throw this thing really hard and really accurately straight down to the ground. <laughs> 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 and you have to hit a target that's the same size as the thing you throw. <laughs> but even if you weren't playing it for the... Um, I really never actually played the game that much, you know? I never played it ever. I only played it once in, like, middle school at lunch. When I really they, banned did... they banned them from my school right away because some kid, like, threw one and it hit some kid in the face. Oh, and... whatever. But I remember because... Um, I would always they were basically I was collecting them when I was into them. I didn't collect that many. Like I remember I only bought them like maybe three times ever. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I was a little impressionable kid. <laughs> and because there was really nothing else to collect at that time, it was like I was like in between things. You know, it's like magic was getting kind of eh. You know, and you know comic books were already done. The comic book store in the mall went out of business. See, back then I had D and D, and that was all I needed. Yeah. So anyway, Pogs. That that's not news. Yeah, Pogs is is definitely not new. <laughs> I'll bet they come back someday. Dude, why don't we bring back Pogs and make a business out of it, and then make an internet Pog thing? Oh my God, I'm sure there's an internet Pog thing. I'm sure there is. All right, I'll bet someone made an online version of Pogs. All right, that would, in Flash. Oh my God, that'd just be so dumb. All right, anyway, <laughs> what else is news? Uh. Congress got rid of that act that would have let us take unlimited amounts of money from congressmen to uh, do political advertising on our little cast here. That's not what I thought the law said. What do you think the law said? I think the law said that we could say whatever we wanted on blogs without the FCC interfering. Oh, yeah. No, what the law said was that campaign finance laws don't apply to the or do should apply should not apply to the Internet. Currently, they do. Okay. The law said, oh, they won't, which would mean that anyone who was running for an office could spend infinite money on the Internet, and they wouldn't even have to say they were spending that money or say who they were giving that money to. Oh, so right now candidates can spend infinite Internet money. No, right now they cannot. The law was going to make it so that they can. Oh, so they can't. They can't. Okay, so? That's it. That's fine. That's I don't the want law. them to spend infinite money. Exactly. That's all the law, dude. People are really making a big deal out what? of this. What? Because it seemed like some, it was described differently. I think you're oh, missing the, something. No, no, because you got the slash dot summary, and I read the actual law. It also had a thing about oil drilling in it and all this other crap. Well, who, I, you know, that crap, whatever, it's a Christmas tree law. You have a bunch of ornaments all over it. Yeah. have nothing to do with the trunk or the, the little pine needles. In fact, usually all the pine needles fall off. That's why it's a, a Christmas tree. Yeah, all the bill really was is to let... Make it so that the internet was just free grain completely when it came to political uh, speech, but that also included no more finance laws. So you could just pay a bunch of bloggers a whole bunch of money to shill you and not have to account for that. But yet you still have to account for if you bought a TV ad. Uh huh. But it it seems like a lot of people are saying this is they wanted the law to go through because it would allow bloggers to do something that they can't do currently. What can't we do currently? I don't know. It seemed like the they said uh, what 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 can't we do it said that like you know now we could if the law passed we would have been free.